guys, Ken here, your thrifty apprentice. So a little over two years ago, um, as you guys recall, I moved to the Texas area, um, the DFW area to be exact, and I'd been living in Louisville outside of the city lim limits of Dallas, a little north, a little further north. Um, and I was only driving back and forth to Dallas for the commute. So I got tired of the commute and decided to move into the city limits um, uh, about two months ago. And just the other day, right around the corner from where I stay, I passed a Jerry's Autorama, which of course provoked a shopping spree, <laughs> which now inspires. No, seriously. Um, but no, I was so excited to past Jerry's um, um, to know that there was one in my local vicinity. I ordered from Jerry's a lot when I originally started the channel and I was living back in Mississippi. Um, so to know that there is one literally right down the street and I don't always have to order uh, offline, online, should I say, um, is, is a good thing to know. So I did stop by the store and I picked up a few items that I wanted to share with you guys um, that I thought were, was pretty cool. So somewhere around the mark of 20 books, I picked up this Creative Mart um, Studio Palette. And it is 42 wheels, if I'm not mistaken, four big mixing trays. And I'm assuming you could use this to mix on as well if you just need it to, you know what I'm saying? but. Uh, I don't have a studio palette for my studio and I do have some professional paints coming up that I am testing and using that I kind of want to mix and match to make um, my own studio palette. And at some point I will be painting from this palette so I'll be trying to figure out how the move to set up from the desk that I'm recording on on to um, the bigger workstation table. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, a couple of other things that I got I want to share with you guys. So, um, I picked up, let's see here. We got a 12 count travel box. It's a little travel box. It's a 12 count set of Lucas Aquarell Studio. Um, this is their student grade um, watercolor paint, and it is a in a little travel kit. It's wrapped up in cellophane right now. I won't open it um, because, I, of course, I'm going to be doing a review video, which will contain unboxing. So we'll save that for the unboxing. But I'm really excited about this paint. I've heard quite a bit about it, and it's one of the few paints that. Um, I've heard a lot of art enthusiasts and critics and reviewers say is dramatically close to the professional. Um, so that's going to be very, very interesting. Um, I picked up a 24 pencil count of Suzanne professional watercolor pencils, um, which they say they're professional, but we'll see about that. Now this is a Creative Mark brand, so um, Susanna is by Creative Mark, which if I'm not mistaken, is Jerry's house brand, or one of Jerry's house brand, if I'm not mistaken. But um, okay, so we're gonna give those a whirl. Let's we'll see what those are like. I picked up a, let's see what is this, this is a nine by 12. 25% um, cotton pad of watercolor paper. This is a Fabriana Studio watercolor paper. So this is their student grade paper, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it is 140 pound cold press. It's got a really nice texture to it. And the pad was pretty affordable. So I decided I'd give it a try. I know I've seen a few other watercolor artists on YouTube I'm using this brand of paper, so I said, hey, you know, why not? Let's see what we have here uh, with this paper. So I grabbed a pad. And then lastly, I grabbed a set of Turner's Artist Watercolors. Now, I've also heard a lot about these. 
So I couldn't pass up the fact that there was a really good deal going on them at the time. I don't, I want to say it was around 30 bucks that I paid for this 18 tube set. Um, and I'm so excited. Lindsay lives by these. Um, she's been talking about these and uh, she uses them quite a bit. And so I've heard the name, I've heard the brand name. Um, I'm really excited. So yeah, there you go, guys. Those are the few things that I picked up at my very own local Jerry's, which I am so excited to see. Um, not too far from my home um, now that I've moved. Uh, so yeah, I just kind of want to share that with you guys. I was really excited. Um, I was so excited when I saw the store that I couldn't help but go in and buy something. <laughs> you know, I could. It was like calling me come in buy art supplies and i was like okay um but yeah i just want to share that with you guys just a little quick video um i hope that you are continuing to practice i hope that you are continuing to um stay on top of making sure that you are painting every single day and learning those techniques so that we can grow together um don't forget to like share comment Follow on Facebook, Instagram, and remember, as I always tell you, just keep painting. Mm -hmm.